excuse me, the correct term is fiberglass for resin. There's gonna be a lot of trolls down in the comments. <laughs> Bring it on, suckers! <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, it's a car video. Oh, one more thing. Don't let me forget, but we got a project with this plane right here that we're gonna be doing pretty soon. And just like that, we're back. Hey, so, okay. I've got some bad news about the Z and I've got some good news. The bad news is, well, to be honest, it's a double thing. It's, both of them are bad. Now, when I came over here a couple days ago, after we were done spraying the uh, couple coats of paint, what happened was it ended up bubbling. Um, I don't know what happened, whether it was some kind of contamination, whether the paint mixed up, or whether there was something wrong with the paint where it just did not want to cure properly because the temperature in the room was hot and then all of a sudden it dropped. Uh, I'm going to show you guys really quickly a picture of what it looked like. Basically what I ended up having to do was to completely remove all of that nasty paint um, and I ended up completely sanding all the way down to the bare metal. I'm going to have to spray primer as you can see here. It's back down to the bare metal. Um, I ended up doing some Bondo work right here, body work, making it really nice and smooth. Now here's another thing that I completely forgot about. When you replace a quarter panel, um, you're supposed to do the inner wheel well and attach it to the outer skin. I didn't do that. I completely like forgot about it and for some reason I completely didn't. So I guess it's a good thing that I that, that happened, even though it's, a, it's an unfortunate situation. Um, it's a good thing that it happened because as you can see up here in the wheel well, I don't know if you can see that actually, my finger can go all the way through in there. So that needs to be welded right back up. I do think I'm gonna have to go ahead and do the uh, fiberglass and epoxy repair because I don't have my welder right now with me. It actually broke so I gotta get a new one. I can't really get one right now. That's okay. Uh, there's always another solution to something. So we're gonna go ahead and head on to Walmart, get some fiberglass repair for the body. We're gonna go ahead and get some epoxy. We're gonna come back over here. We're gonna go ahead and put it on, and then we'll go ahead and see what happens. We'll sl slay the. Uh, we'll go ahead and lay another coat of primer, and then hopefully it'll be good for that. Whoa. It is way too cold to be outside right now. It's freezing. All right, boys. So I just got back from the store and let me show you what I got. So, I'm so excited when I get stuff for cars. Number one, ended up getting this fiberglass right here from the store. It's gonna be helping me going ahead and putting it inside of that wheel well that's actually, um, has that gap in between that should, should be welded, but I'm gonna go ahead and fiberglass in it for the hell of it. Um, this right here, we've got the fiberglass resin that we're gonna go ahead and apply onto the fiberglass in order for it to stick. We're gonna go ahead and apply it, mix it together, and go ahead and start putting it on. Um, a little brush. I should have a different brush, but this is what I'm going to have to use right now because I'm balling on the budget. And also, we've got our um, filler and sandable primer. I have two. I'm actually, once this goes ahead and dry, I sand it down and everything. I'm going to go ahead and spray the coats down um, of the primers and then also the white primer as well so that way it gets onto it. And we're going to go ahead and send it down to painting. So, so one thing I did want to mention that I just figured out that I had no idea about actually on these fiberglass right here, fiberglass cloths. As you can see, there isn't any kind of harsh line or anything. It just looks like a really nice cloth. In order to make a straight cut, if you were to take one of these little tiny fiber fiberglass, uh, I don't know what you guys want to call this, fiberglass fibers, fibers, there we go, and yank on it, it was going to leave a hard line right here, which I'm going to show you guys really quick. I can't really do it with two hands, but I will go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to put you guys in my mouth real quick. Awkward angle. Ah, dude, if that's not satisfying, I don't know what is. But check it out. You got, you guys, we finally have a nice line cut right down the middle of this fiberglass cloth, which looks pretty good, to be honest. All right, back to the montage. This is all the hardener I need for all this epoxy? Dude, there's no way. 
this, well, excuse me, the correct term is fiberglass for resin. There's gonna be a lot of trolls down in the comments. <laughs> Bring it on, suckers! <laughs> I don't have anything to mix it with. Uh, guess we're gonna use the lid. I'm just kind of winging it right now. Oh, God! Ooh. Ew, he's so smooth. Ooh, look at- Oh, God! <laughs> Did you guys see that? Is it supposed to come out clumpy like that? Dude, there's no way. Dude, what is that? Look at that. It's like a marble. Look at- What? 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 Dude, it kind of reminds me of, like, honey. And I kind of want to eat it, but it... Oh, it doesn't smell good. God. <coughs> the more you know. So let's just let's just wing it. Let's just keep pouring. Oh, that, that's probably a little more than I need. Like, actually, if anybody in the comments could tell me what the heck this thing is, because I actually am curious to knowing whether it's, like, you know, the, um... The what's it called? The fiberglass resin, if it just kind of froze over time, or if it's just me. So let's kind of, let's get rid of this thing right here. Dump some of that up. Yep, yep, that's about, that's good enough. That's, that's all we need, yep. That's good enough. Oh man, why don't these things come pre-poked? Look at that. There's no hole. Great. Today just can't get better and better. Look what I found, <laughs> a little tiny puncher. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, okay, cool. We got it in, got the little hole, squeezy, squeezy. Yep, one, two. Three. That seems like a good amount. All right, let's uh, go ahead and put this up. Yeah. All right, let's get going. Oh, dude, this stuff is like so thick, but it's so like uber great, dude. Like, look at this. Whose man's is this? Oh, baby, baby. Oh, I wish my buddy Kiefer was here right now, man. He'd be doing this with me and he'd be having a hell of a blast. But unfortunately, he got shot. True story, not even kidding. He's doing okay, you know, as well. He's out of the hospital, been home, you know, just chilling. Not having to go to work, which is great. We're learning, dudes. We are learning. <laughs> ah! I'm making a mess over here. All right, guys, so we just barely finished filling it up with epoxy. Um, I'm super tired, I'm not gonna lie. Energy's kinda low, but I'm gonna bring it back up. As you guys can see, the fiberglass cloth right here uh, it actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to come back here and cut it with a razor blade quickly before this dries up um, As you can see here in the bottom it looks pretty decent I'm gonna have to come back here uh, when I can and actually end up filling it up with uh, Body filler and then it should be pretty much good. You guys probably get this a lot But there's a notification bell if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that that way you guys know when my video is gonna be up to date and you guys can go ahead and take a look at it. I'd super appreciate it. I'm so thankful you guys ended up watching this video. If you guys did like it, you liked my stupidity, make sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later.